got went from one dodgy side in the Serie A to another dodgy side in from La Liga. Barcelona minus two hundred hosting Porto at plus five sixty five. Barcelona put in a horrendous performance on the on the road to Real Vallecano at the weekend, drawing one one and only scraping that one later on. The draw is at plus three fifty eight. Uh, Porto to score is minus one fifty five. So the under or over is set at two point seven five with the over being at minus one twelve. Porto plus one at plus one hundred. A little bit of an insurance policy, maybe Marco here. Yeah, um, Barcelona are not a very good football team at the minute. Um, I know that's a top-notch analysis for you, but um, <laughs> you know, go back to sort of mid-September, they absolutely obliterated Antwerp and Betis five nil. Um, both teams got demolished in the same week. Um, but since then, it's kind of fallen apart a little bit. Um, the first game after those two five nil thrashings, they. Really struggled past Celta, 3-2, when they scored all three goals in the final 10 minutes, coming back from 2-0 behind. And in the eight La Liga games since then, they've failed to win half of those. And the four games they have won, all arrived by one-goal margins. And none of them have been convincing at all. Uh, you know, you talk about the, the Rio game at the weekends, but I go back to the Real Sociedad game uh, before the international break, where they won 1-0, and they were totally played off the park. So in those eight La Liga games, they've actually ranking eighth in terms of expected goals process. Um, now, I know injuries haven't helped of course, but Xavi's feeling the heat. Supporters are frustrated by the style of play, the form, the performance levels. There's talk he's going to bring back the experienced players here to to try and secure qualification. I just don't see it being anywhere close as or anywhere near as straightforward as, as the market suggests here. So the market is saying Barcelona are more likely to beat Porto than Lazio, Lazio are to beat Celtic. And I just can't buy that argument whatsoever. This yeah. feels like a, a Big banana skin for Barca, uh, who did win 1-0 in the reverse, but they were second best in Portugal. Uh, and as I say, that's been a bit of a, a running theme. So I'm the back Porto plus one and a quarter, which means Barca need to win by two or more goals for us not to make money out of this match. Um, and I think it's worth reiterating that this game isn't taking place at the Camp Nou because of the renovations. So it's, you know, at the Olympic Stadium, doesn't have the same sort of fear factor or edge really for the visiting teams. And you know, as we talk about every single Champions League game week, it feels like Porto just know how to stick in games, be competitive, dog out points when necessary. I don't expect this game to be particularly high scoring. Um, I don't expect Porto to be sort of swatted aside quite easily. I think they'll stay in the game. And, you know, in sort of tight, low-scoring matches, the, the underdog has a much bigger chance of, of getting something. So, um, yeah, quite happy to back Porto with a big start. I thought both teams to score an over was a way to go. Barcelona have no leaders. Um, and, and obviously, I know Romeo from uh, being at Southampton. Um, he's got to pinch himself believing that he's playing for Barcelona because I'm looking there and thinking, OK, well, you know there's no creativity coming out of that, uh, that midfield. So then you go to the wings. Barcelona just looked like an absolute shadow of themselves. And I half blame the manager because he has a vision of the way that he played the game and the way he wants it to be played. But he hasn't got the personnel to go and execute that high standard, Mina. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to agree with you right there. I think this is their problem is that usually when we think of Barcelona, we think of a side that's so good on the ball. But right now, they're just really having problems doing that at the moment, really creating as, as much as can can be considered. I mean, Gavi is a long-term absence for them in general, um, but there is a lot of pressure right now on Xavi to create something better. And when you think that they have Lewandowski up front, you think they're always going to create loads of chances. It's Barcelona, for goodness sakes. But unfortunately for them, it's been a really torrid time. But Porto, I don't know if I would go for over two and a half goals because they don't really score that many. They've gone 15 this season in, in, in the league. They're not a side that I see as is that great at scoring goals, in all honesty. Um, between these two sides, in fact, in the last five matches that they've played, Barcelona's won every single one, and which is very un un unusual and surprising for me because I think this is the exact kind of matchup that I would expect Porto to always really challenge and potentially win, and yet Barcelona has come out on top in the last five times that they faced each other. This is, for me, a potential banana slip. It should be a potential banana slip. Porto are tight defensively, the tightest, uh, the tightest defence in the league, but they also, like I said, don't score many goals. I don't see Barcelona only getting that much either so I think this is going to be a low scoring game frankly speaking there's the draw is open but at plus 358 it seems like the market really doesn't think it's going to be there um, I personally think that it could well be a draw because I can't actually for the moment split them their strengths are divided in the sense that I do think Porto is just so good defensively and I think Barcelona is good defensively I just don't see either attack as being all that great at the moment I think there's a genuine concern when it comes to scoring goals considering that the goal that they did score 
um, was an own goal over the weekend to secure that draw. They have been horrible going forward. Um, I, not, I don't trust them. It should be that they're at home, but it's exactly like Marco has said. They're not playing in their own stadium. So would you go for an under two and a half? Um, and could I change your mind into doing that potentially? I don't know, but it's probably worth. I mean, the value would be on Porto. Plus one, plus one at plus 100 looks good to me. Yeah, I just can't go near the game just because the the home side uh, could put it in. Uh, they could be absolutely dog awful and win one nil, and I end up losing. Uh, with the plus one, maybe you do get a push though. Uh, I like Porto. I think Porto are very confident, but again, it's because of Barcelona are involved. The, I just cannot trust them at all. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to steer clear. Remember, you lose nothing by not getting involved. Let's have a little look at the official pick. Porto plus 1.25 at minus 125. So even if they get beaten by the odd goal, you're still going to get a half win.